but this is how to share your walk snail feed so with the goggles L from walk snail they're a great cheap digital option and a lot of people are asking how can I sort of do use them as a ride along so maybe you've got some more expensive goggles like the goggles X or something and I'm gonna go quickly through the process of how to do that so what you'll need to do you're gonna need your quad and look I've got props off so uh, I'm going to plug this in and I'm hoping I can do this without my VTX overheating on the bench booting up all right so I'm gonna plug my drone in and what's going to happen is like a normal setup we're going to get this connected to our goggles right here so these are the walk snail goggle x and then we're going to show you how we can use the share mode in them which i think is a really important feature like it is great to be able to have a pair of goggles you can take people along on a ride along it's just a lot of fun i don't know if you've ever taken somebody on a ride along but let me know in the chat like what was their experience the first time they got to cruise around and do some fpv would you, how would you describe it well i described it as a very exhilarating experience yeah? yeah i was very of the scenes that i saw and uh i was able to see all the beautiful trees and the river and look at this building here and admire it and it was really fantastic so in here you can see now i don't expect you to see the picture but if i put my hand in front of the drone where are we see you can see it's moving it's obviously this is synced up to this one now what i can do in here I simply go in and I turn on broadcast mode, which is in the settings. So that I can put to the side now, pretend this is on my face. And then uh, a friend comes along or a relative or somebody and you say, hey, what are you doing? Can I check that out? And this is one of my favorite features about why this is a great goggle to get. And then if you upgrade, because you can still use these things when you're out here. So at the moment, you can see we're not getting anything. You're getting basically the reflection of some DIY FPV signs and, and those are the sorts of things. But there's nothing on the screen at the moment. I can go into here and there is an option under the share setting if I turn that on. And I'm hoping this works. There we go. You will get a little MAC address. If I click on that and we back out now. So now you can see on here, we are also completely, uh, we are seeing, there we go. You can see it a little bit better. So these goggles actually have a share function that you can use. I'm going to unplug that so the VTX doesn't overheat. And I can, and now you'll see both of these goggles obviously have nothing uh, in the display but yeah it's a really good way where if you want to get a pair of goggles and you want to take some people on a ride alongs it's an amazing feature now it was really easy with analog goggles because analog in the past it didn't need any special firmwares or anything like that like everybody could tune into one frequency but the way the digital works this drone is talking to one set of goggles so it's going to be talking to my goggles x and then the way that this cadex system works is this drone is still only talking to here, so it's only got to worry about getting information back to the pilot, but these goggles then will transmit that over using their share function uh, to the spectator pair as well. So a really, really cool feature that I think um, it's just, it's like I said, it's all about getting people into the hobby. It's all about sharing the joy of FPV. And if you've ever flown with somebody else, you know it's just, that's where it's at, like that's where the fun is. I mean, so Johnny DRC is saying, yeah, I bring my EV800D, so that's exactly what we're talking about. Like you can do that with analog. Being able to do it with digital now is like just that next level for me to be able to show people who are into the hobby. And Rain Squad is saying, you can now just hand someone your phone and use the app to show someone. I don't know how well the performance of that goes. I think I've seen some testing of it and it's not up to scratch. It's not quite as good, um, or nowhere near as good as what that's like. And Sean is saying, would be cool if you can use analog on the new walks now goggles. And here is my option of why I don't really mind that you can't at the moment. And look, feel free to disagree. Here is my professional opinion on, and let me know in the comments if you disagree. Of course, we all want the goggle that does everything. You know, we want all the options, all the features. But for the 199 bucks, the walks now goggle L's, if you need them to do analog, the chances are you already have an analog set of goggles. So are you going to be paying that money for the difference just to be able to take these out and not carry your old fat sharks around? Like, is that, is that, that five seconds of inconvenience, is that really the difference for you? For me, uh, I'd be more than, ha like, if I'm going to fly analog, I go and get my sky zones. Even though, look, I can use them on goggles like this, I can get some AV in and that sort of stuff. If I'm going to fly analog and I've got a set of analog goggles, like I feel like it's just a much easier process. So that might be a bit of a red herring or something that people get upset about or people think is an important issue. But if you need analog, analog in, 
most pilots, not all, most pilots already have an analog set of goggles because there's no way you'd build up a big entire fleet of analog stuff and then not actually have a way to look at that in the first place. Um, and Johnny D is saying, that's why I purchased the Walksnow module. I can still use my Sky Zone 030 OLED goggles. Yeah, and that's a great option too. Like if you already had a set of goggles and you want to use the uh, the modules, I think it's good that Walksnow sort of offers all of those. I feel like Walksnow is kicking a lot of goals lately, or at least bringing a lot of products to market that people are finding a use for and they're not breaking the bank. Recommend people fly them or not fly them? Uh, well, if you're inclined that way, yes. If you're not given to, you know, deep study of literature or painting or something like that, this would be a good thing to do, yes. Is it a good investment of, do you think it's yeah, a good way time, for, yeah. Yeah, oh, a good investment worthwhile. of time, very worthwhile. Okay. Certainly keeps young people out of mischief, I would hope. Yeah. Can, it's can fantastic. You, can you say, uh, subscribe for more FPV yeah. related videos? Subscribe for more SVP related videos. And, and, uh, from and, Mr. Stuart and, Spend. And as yeah. always, happy flying. And as always, happy flying. All right. Don't crash very often. <laughs>